here's my DIY magnetic stir made in a fairly large Radio Shack project box. On the front we have a 10K pot with an on-off switch built into it, a power jack to connect it into uh, 9 to 12 volts power, and an LED so that we know that it's on and working. So let me give you a little demonstration first and then we'll look at what's inside. I'm just going to put this small screw on top and we'll turn it on. You can see the LED glows in intensity for more power. And here's what's inside. On the left we have a very simple power circuit that uses a variable voltage converter to convert whatever the input voltage is um, to the output voltage of the fan and it's, the voltage is adjusted using this 10k pot here. On the back of this 10k pot we have a power switch for the power running into and I have a 120 millimeter fan that I've cut all the blades off of and I've taken apart a hard drive and we have four hard drive magnets two stacked on top of each other and put on opposite ends so when they spin, they create the magnetic field that rotates uh, the screw on top, which will be an actual magnetic stir to go along with the uh, Erlenmeyer flask to actually stir the yeast. So this is pretty simple to make. I've mounted my fan on a block of wood, so I can easily take it out and change the height and I'm probably going to put a mouse pad or two underneath it to reduce any noise or vibration so that it runs silently when it's actually operating for you know uh, 24 to 48 hours in a row so that's it for now this is pretty simple to build yourself you just build a very simple I believe it's an LM uh, 317 voltage uh, variable voltage circuit and uh, put it inside of this Radio Shack uh, 270 1809 project box and wire it all up but I will put the schematics online anyway and that's it